What's up guys, this is Skytech Free and today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the bootloader on newer Xiaomi devices and also how to install custom recoveries on them. Uh, the reason I say newer Xiaomi devices is because older Xiaomi devices like the MI4i I have here didn't actually ship with locked bootloaders. It's only the newer ones like uh, the Mi Mix 2 which is the one I'll be doing this tutorial on that ship with uh, locked bootloaders. Now the reason uh, you would want to unlock your bootloader is like I said to flash either custom reco recovery which will allow you to flash custom ROMs and custom kernels and things like that but besides that also uh, Xiaomi's MIUI ROM the beta version of that actually requires you to uh, have an unlocked bootloader for you to update to that uh, beta channel I think they're either working on or have already managed to uh, find a way so that you don't have to unlock your bootloader to move to that beta channel but as of now I think or uh, on some devices at least to be on the beta channel of the MIUI ROM you need to unlock your bootloader apart from that of course like I said uh, flashing custom ROMs and things like that like I have Lineage OS running on this M uh, Mi Mix 2 you can have Resurrection Remix and update to newer versions of Android and things like that so uh, like I said newer Xiaomi devices Mi Mix 2, Mi 6, Mi 8 or Mi Mix 2S and things like that it's also a newer way or a newer method of unlocking the bootloader because earlier what Xiaomi had was you had to fill in this long form online and you had to justify why you would even want to unlock your bootloader after you've made an account and sometimes they would not give you permission or if they gave you permission it would take you three four days to get that permission now there's none of that uh, Xiaomi has simplified the process you no longer have to justify why you want to unlock your bootloader uh, you can simply just download a tool known as me flash unlock tool and uh, go ahead and do that before you get onto your computer and connect your device there is a few steps you need to do within the ROM within the MIUI ROM of your device so because I'm running lineage I might not be able to emulate the steps exactly but the basic idea is you want to go into the settings of your MIUI ROM you want to go down to about phone and basically find uh, in about phone an area that says MIUI version now on stock Android uh, ROMs when you click on build number a bunch of times you just keep tapping on it it enables something known as developer settings uh, in MIUI ROMs it's different you have to click on MIUI version a bunch of times like so you have to keep tapping on it until it says three taps two taps or one tap until you unlock developer settings once you've done that you want to go into developer settings again the developer settings will be different on your MIUI ROM but you want to un you want to check mark two main settings uh, the first one being Android debugging or ADB debugging so I have that checked here and the second will be an option known as OEM unlock so you want to go ahead and enable OEM unlocking on the developer menu of your uh, Xiaomi MIUI ROM so that's the first step alright guys once you have OEM unlocking and ADB debugging enabled on your Xiaomi MIUI device uh, don't turn off the phone, don't reboot into bootloader yet, especially if your phone has your SIM card in it. You can go ahead and plug in your phone now to your Windows PC and I specify Windows PC because uh, the Xiaomi uh, Mi Flash Unlock Bootloader tool that is involved in this process is a .exe file which means it will only work on Windows computers. I'm not aware that there, if there is a way to do this on Mac or Linux PCs yet. Anyway, so with your device on, plug it into your computer and then go ahead and download the Mi Flash Unlock tool, which I'll have a link in the description for. Uh, I believe the official link from the Xiaomi website, from the official unlock page of Xiaomi is down. Uh, the link that they have up on their website to download the tool is down. So I'll also put in two or three alternate links and I'll put in the official link as well, just in case it goes back up at some point. Once you have downloaded the tool, it will have uh, and you've extracted it it'll open up to this folder right here and there are two files that you need to mostly be concerned with one of them is the me USB driver so with your phone plugged in you just need to go ahead and install that on your computer you will require administer uh, administrative rights because it's actually an application install because you're installing new drivers onto your computer but anyways once you've installed the new drivers the next thing or the next tool you want to be uh, starting on your computer is the me flash unlock tool and this is the main tool so you just want to double click that and uh, wait for it to open it'll open up down here and uh, just here it'll ask you to sign into your MI account you can sign in through Facebook or and this is why I told you not to uh, turn off your device yet 
just put in your phone number and when you put in your phone number it will send you uh, an SMS verification uh, text and when you've put in that text you can go on uh, you can go ahead to the next step so once you've successfully logged into the me unlock flash tool and you can log in by uh, giving your phone number and receiving an SMS verification code that you can then punch in or you can log in through Facebook or whichever method you want. Uh, once you've logged in, you should see a screen like this. If you don't, it might say there's an error. Just refresh or retry and it'll load the screen again. The loading screen says something like checking if your me account has permission. Uh, it doesn't really mean anything now because of the updated method, all accounts kind of have permission by default. So once you come into this screen, we should move on to the device and boot our device into fast boot mode. All right, so once you've done all that on your computer and again, uh, you have OEM unlocking and EDB debugging enabled on your phone. It's very important that you have these two things enabled because without OEM unlocking, it will not allow you to uh, unlock the bootloader on your device even with the tool on the PC. Anyways, once you've done that, you just want to switch off your device so just power off however you do it in your ROM basically hold the power button and choose the menu power off uh, once your device is turned off what you want to do is boot your device into fast boot mode and the way you boot your device into fast boot mode is by holding the power button and the volume down button this goes for all Xiaomi devices so once you do that you should see uh, this sort of Android creature working on and, uh, and this Xiaomi creature working on an Android over here just to show you that this button combination is universal across all Xiaomi devices, I'm just going to show it to you on the MI4i that I talked about earlier as well. So I'm going to hold the power down button and the, uh, sorry, the power button and the volume down button. And we should see a fast boot icon. Again, Xiaomi creature and an Android icon. The next thing you want to do is once your device is in fast boot mode, you want to plug it into your computer. Once you've plugged it in, your PC should recognize it. You should hear that sound on Windows because what you have done is install those Mi USB drivers. So once your device is connected to the computer, your computer should recognize it. And on the application where it says phone not connected, you should see this screen. So this is the screen you should see if you've managed to connect your device successfully in fast boot mode to your PC with the Mi USB drivers that you installed and your computer has recognized your device because of those. Uh, you should see this screen in the application. Make sure you've backed up um, whatever you want backed up because uh, unlocking the bootloader will erase all user data. It'll give you this option to unlock the bootloader. You just want to click on unlock. You want to confirm that yes, you do indeed want to unlock the bootloader. I'm not going to do it because I already have an unlocked bootloader and uh, it'll just go ahead and erase all my user data without actually giving me any more functionality. But you guys should just unlock, confirm, and in a matter of minutes, you should have an unlocked bootloader on your Xiaomi device. So once the application has successfully unlocked the bootloader on your device and it says that the, uh, that the process is completed, uh, what you want to do is actually test if the bootloader on your device is in fact unlocked. And to do that, all you have to do is just turn on your device, wait for the boot screen, where under MI, it should say unlocked over here with this lock icon, if you can see that over there. That's all there is to it. If you want to further validate the fact that you have, in fact, unlocked um, the bootloader on your device, just boot into your uh, MI UI ROM, which will now have been wiped of all user data. So it'll be like setting up your device from scratch. But basically, go into the settings of that MIUI ROM again because your uh, data has been wiped you'll want to go in and tap on MIUI version uh, a number of times um, to enable developer settings and in developer settings there's actually uh, an option so you go into developer settings and you check under the menu of developer settings where there's a, a sort of subheading that says me unlock status and that will tell you if the uh, if the bootloader on your device has actually been unlocked or not uh, now what we want to do is we want to uh, install a custom recovery on our xiaomi device and to do that again we want to boot into uh, fast boot mode so that's volume down and power button on your xiaomi device and you should once again boot into fast boot mode and once you boot it into fast boot mode, you do want to connect it back uh, into your PC. So just connect your device in your PC, which 
should be recognized by the PC again because the drivers have been installed and you have also gone ahead and completely unlocked the bootloader using the PC. So that's the first step to unlocking, uh, to flashing a custom recovery on your Xiaomi device. All right, once you have your device successfully connected in fast boot mode to your computer, to flash the custom recovery, what you want to do is make two downloads. One of them is the ADB and fast boot tools. Now, these tools used to be part of a much larger Android SDK package. But thanks to the guys on XDA, there's now a smaller package with just the ADB and Fastboot tools. And you can get those in two versions as well. One is an installable EXC and one of them is a portable zip. So you can basically just unzip uh, that file and the folder with it will have those tools uh, already inside. The installed version actually also installs drivers and all that could be helpful. But because we've installed drivers from the Mi Unlock uh, Flash zip already, we shouldn't need more drivers uh, to make fastboot and ADB work. So I would uh, suggest that you also use the portable version. So once you have the portable version, you just want to unzip it and you want to open the folder where uh, those unzipped files are. And you should see adb.exe and fastboot.exe in, um, in that folder as it is. Then you want to move on to downloading the custom recovery for your device right and uh, to download the custom recovery for your device you go to the team win website i'll link that obviously in uh, the description and you want to find uh, the manufacturer of your device which is xiaomi then you want to find your device so each device actually also has a code name so the xiaomi Mi Mix 2 is chirin or kiran however you pronounce that once you go there you want to download uh, you go to the download links go to whichever um, server is closer to you or whichever server is faster you click on the latest version of TWRP for your device and then you click on download TWRP uh, Chirin.img. Now there'll be two download versions available. One is a .asc file. That's not the one we want. We want to download the IMG file. Once you've downloaded the IMG file, you want to just copy that into the same folder where you have your uh, um, ADB and Fastboot tools inside that directory, right? So your image, uh, your TWRP image should be in the same directory as adb.exe and fastboot.exe. And then what you want to do is just rename uh, the, Im the custom recovery image that you downloaded. So the way custom recoveries are named on TWRP is it says TWRP, then the version of TWRP and the code name of your device. You want to just get rid of all that and name the image file you downloaded simply TWRP dot img and leave it in the same folder as fastboot.exe and adb.exe then what you want to do is press shift and right click in that same directory so in the blank space of that folder press shift and right click and open a command window here right so when you press shift you get a bigger menu when you right click in windows and it will give you the option to open a command window here in this command window you want to first verify whether your device is successfully connected to fastboot so to do that you type in fast boot devices and it should give you your device's unique ID and say that it's connected in fast boot mode if it has successfully connected in fast boot mode. At this point, uh, you're simply one step away. You just want to go back to the website of Team Win, which is TWRP, and you want to go to uh, before the download links in the same page where it asks you which server you want to download it from. You want to go down and it'll tell you the methods to install uh, TWRP or a custom recovery. And you just want to copy this one um, command here that says fastboot flash recovery twrp.image. So you just copy that and you want to paste it into the command window that's open. Uh, the reason we renamed the file to twrp.img is because this command specifically uh, specifically names the file as TWRP. So once you have this copied and you paste that into Fastboot, it should basically flash the custom recovery onto uh, your device. Uh, it should be successful if your bootloader is unlocked and you had OEM unlocking and all those things. Once you're done with uh, that and, it's, and the command prompt window shows that uh, flashing the custom recovery was successful, then all you want to do is just type in fast boot reboot and uh, press enter. That should basically reboot your device. And now all that's left to do is to test 
whether the custom recovery has in fact been flashed on your device or not. All right, now all you want to do is make sure that you have in fact flashed the custom recovery on your device. And to do that, you want to hold the power button and instead of holding the power down button to reboot into bootloader mode, you want to hold the power up button. Again, this is standard across all Xiaomi devices. So you want to press the power button and the volume up button. And it should basically boot you into the TWRP custom uh, recovery, as you can see over here. Again, I'll show you that it's standard across all Xiaomi devices with my uh, MI4i as well. So I'm going to hold the power button and the volume up button this time, not the volume down button, because that would put me into bootloader mode. So power button, volume up button, and it should basically boot me into TWRP for your device if everything you've done has worked out successfully. So as you can see, it's uh, this is what TWRP looks like. You can go ahead and install certain ROMs. You can uh, wipe parts of your, you can wipe user data. You can have an advanced wipe to choose what all you want to wipe. Uh, basically, this is what you use to install custom ROMs and custom recoveries and things like that. Uh, anyways, that was a tutorial on how to unlock the bootloader on your Xiaomi devices and how to install a custom recovery on your phone. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something from it. If you like the video, please like it and uh, consider subscribing. Thank you.